Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be having an Arm & Hammer shootout. Now, this is supposed to be control. I kind of messed it up a little bit, but it'll be okay. We have, what was this? Chocolate syrup, ketchup, barbecue sauce. This is some light teriyaki sauce. This is teriyaki oil. This is grape juice, grass stain, yellow mustard stain, red clay stain. This is, they're both red hot chili, sriracha red hot chili sauce. And the reason there's two of them is because I kind of messed up on one of them and I accidentally added one. So that's the same thing. And then this is a lipstick um, stain. So we're going to be testing these. This is the control. So we're going to just wash it with water. These are the four Arm & Hammer products we're going to be testing. This is really today to test the deep clean because this is a new product. Both of these are new products. They're supposed to be the strongest, most powerful, most, as it's saying, deep cleaning stain fighting formula. Why is it doing that? Okay, deep clean stain fighting storm formula. So we're going to just jump right into this. We're gonna have it on precise fill for the water level. It's gonna be a warm water, water temperature. We're gonna put on the white setting normal. There's gonna be no extra rinse and no auto soak. To help it agitate a little bit, we have two um, bath towels and two washcloths. And they're all white, so I can bleach all of this at the end of the test, so. Okay, so A is done. Now we're gonna actually use this. To keep this uh, test fair, we're gonna put it one ounce of detergent for every one. So let's try to do this. Hopefully I can just eyeball it properly. Okay, that looks about one. Look at me. Okay, so we're gonna toss this in. Everything is the same once again. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, this is the before and the after. And I apologize if I'm sniffling through this video. Paula's season is tearing me up. Anyway, so I ordered this from, if you go down the row, the first row are easy stains, the second row are medium stains, the third row are hard stains, and then the last row are, are extremely hard stains. So I said it before early in the video, but top left, you have chocolate syrup beside it. On the right is ketchup. Beside that is barbecue sauce. On the second row, on the left, you have teriyaki sauce. Then in the middle is teriyaki oil. On the right is grape juice stain. Third row, grass stain. In the middle is yellow mustard stain. On the right is red clay. Then the bottom row, the first, those two are sir sriracha hot chili sauce. And then on the far right, on the bottom row, is a lipstick stain. Now, when you look at the results for all of them, and I have it all lined up, everything is going down the road. So the first one is just water is the control. Then B was the deep clean. C was um, Arm Hammer plus OxyClean. D was the deep clean pod, just one pod. And then E was the Arm Hammer plus fabric softener. So, and then beside them is there are water, 
temperature that it was washed in. All of these went on warm wash cycles. And as you can see, my washing machine has a slight variation, mm, somewhat slight variation in temperature setting when you have it on warm. So that's good to know. Anyway, those are the results. In my opinion, I really did this test, which I'm going to do another test with the deep clean because there's a different way I want to test it. Um, but I'm going to do that sometime. Anyway, so in my, I was trying to test to see just how much better if if this deep clean is better than the um, Arm Hammer Plus OxyClean because it's new formulation. They it's not even as of today. Today being April sixteenth, twenty twenty four. It's not even on the Arm and Hammer website. They have an advertisement for it on their YouTube page, a commercial for the deep clean, but it's not on their website. Um, yet so i wanted to get this out there so if anybody's interested in seeing this product and seeing how well it does i think it does a pretty good job even though granted this isn't my regular 24-hour stain test these stains sat on the garment which is just a t-shirt that i cut up it sat on there for maybe an hour um i didn't have the time today to really or the really this week to really dedicate to like let it sit for 24 hours and then run through and do the whole wash cycles with all of these so this is kind of just the it's that for an hour and then we washed it to see how well it did and it actually did okay we know there are certain stains like yellow mustard stain that are not coming out on the first run lipstick stain is not going to come out on no matter what detergents i've used like you have to really put in some work to get those out same thing with yellow mustard in a way so the first row all of them did a pretty good job of getting it out for the most part I will say in person, in person, all of them, no, in person, C, which is the Arm Hammer plus Oxy, and B had a little bit left. And then from here, you could see on the um, row D that has a deep clean pod, you could see the center where the ketchup stain, it looks like there's still like a hint of ketchup stain remnants left that's a little shaded there, but... Overall, the one that did the best, in my opinion, is the pod. And the reason probably is because I only use one ounce of detergent, which is the same as two tablespoons, which is the same as roughly 30 milliliters of detergent. The real number is like 29.4 or some, 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 but that's roughly 30 milliliters of detergent, um, which is a general standard that they say for a regular or medium-sized load of laundry is what you would use. I understand in real, real testing, you would do pre-treating it and all of that which I plan on doing a thing where I test the deep clean in that fashion where I'm going to do a control obviously then wash it with one um, ounce of detergent then do another one where we let put one ounce to 1.5 ounces of detergent in a gallon of water and let it soak for six hours to overnight I'll figure out how I feel and then another one where we soak it in like an oxyclean or oxyclean type um, stain treater for between six hours to overnight. I'll figure it out when the time comes. And then compare all of those results to see how it is. Um, I do like all of these detergents, except for this one with the fabric softener. I thought I was going to like it a little bit more, but it's actually my least favorite in the bunch. And personally, I I know some, I've read some comments that some people like the smell. You know, smell is very subjective to whoever you are, but there are other detergent plus fabric softeners that I would buy i would buy the type plus downing before that personally and i would buy the gain two and one before that personally i'd buy the la's totally awesome one before that personally but once again that's just smell it's very subjective um cleaning power is okay they all there's not there's not that big of a difference when you look at all four of them it's not super super crazy i'm talking too much now y'all see the results if there's anything y'all like me to review next put it in the comments um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and my cash app will be in the description below if you would like to support this channel in that way and i will catch y'all on the next one